GarageBand here on the iPad or the iPhone is pretty reliable, but when it fails, it fails hard. So if you've got this problem where you get a blank screen when you try to open GarageBand, you can't get into your projects, you can't open up to create a new project, and then eventually you're kicked back out to your main screen, well, I've got a simple solution that is gonna get you back up and running here in GarageBand. Let's go. So here we are in our iPad with our GarageBand that is definitely not working. We're still getting our blank screen and then it's just gonna go away. Now, what I've already done and what I recommend before you do anything is to back up your your entire iPad and anytime you do anything like this, back up your iPad and back up any of your GarageBand tracks. Now I've got videos to show you how to do that. If your tracks are on iCloud, you're golden because they will be able to be re-downloaded even if something goes wrong, so that's no problem. If they're just on your device here, strongly recommend backing them up using the iTunes file sharing, which I have just done before I do this. So let's dive in now and I'll show you the quick fix that will hopefully, fingers crossed, get our GarageBand on the iPad back up and running. Okay, so we're gonna tap on settings to go into our main iOS settings here. And over on the left here, we're gonna scroll down until we find GarageBand, which should be in the G's, if I'm not mistaken. We'll tap on GarageBand. And now here are all of our GarageBand settings around our uh, various gestures. And the, the one thing that this, this method, so I, I won't, I won't uh, bury the lead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset GarageBand. So we're gonna use this, it's gonna restore GarageBand back to its original settings and restore all sound samples. So this is going to do a few things and change sort of some of our options here, like our effect plugins, our note labels, our 24-bit uh, audio recording. So some of the settings that we've already put in here, uh, we're going to have to reset, but that's okay. That should not take us very long. So let's hold our breath, roll our drums, whatever else we're gonna do, and we'll slide over here. So that has enabled our reset garage band. And what this should do is that when we go back out, we're going to actually have our garage band reset when it reloads. So let's now click our button over here on the left to come back to here. What I'm gonna do is double tap and make sure that GarageBand is actually closed so that hopefully when we now tap on GarageBand, we're going to get it to reset to its default and it'll hopefully work. Let's try this now. And here we go, what's new in GarageBand? So we are looking good here. This is like we would see if we've just loaded or downloaded and installed for the very first time. We'll tap on continue and hooray, here are all of our tracks. These are all of the tracks that I had on this iPad ready to go. They're all intact and let's just check this one to open and make sure that everything is good to go. That's looking okay, playing back audio. We are golden. And so now the only thing that we have left to do is to go back into our settings, to go in here to GarageBand. And yes, as you can see here, all of the settings that we had before have been reset. So I do want my automatic recording length back on. I want my keyboard note labels, if I can tap them. And I want my iOS effect plugins. I don't want to hit reset GarageBand again, but that is all good. And 24-bit audio is actually missing from here. So that's one that used to be on here that uh, they must have just put that on by default now. So that is fine and dandy. We'll go back to here, go back to GarageBand, and we're good to go. We can come in and again, do our recording, our mixing, and work on our track. So there you go, a pretty simple solution. Now, if this doesn't work, the only other way is to, to uninstall and then reinstall GarageBand. So that takes a lot longer. You have to actually delete the app, re-download the app, and then reinstall, which uh, is the only other option apart from this. But hopefully, just using this reset GarageBand function is gonna get you back up and running if you have this horrible blank screen issue or any other GarageBand issue that is locking up and not letting you run GarageBand. And there you have it. Hopefully you never have to use this, but if you're watching this video, chances are you are probably in this same boat. So I hope you can get that fixed and back up and running as quickly as possible. If you've got other comments or questions or suggestions or tips around using GarageBand, I'd love to hear them. Drop some notes in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks again for hanging around to the end. There's a lot more tips, tricks, and tutorials all about GarageBand here on the channel. We've got two of those linked up down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right and head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.